Hey, hi, welcome to Buddy Talk Friday. It's Lorraine Purcell. So sorry, I'm a little late. I couldn't get the computer to work, so I'm back on my shitty fucking phone. Excuse me. <laughs> That's how I feel about it right now. So if, the, if it gets blurry, my apologies, my apologies in advance. Um, so sorry, we are working on getting that better with a better, you're looking for the camera. There it is, looking for a better way so that you can hear these and you can see these better without it going blurry and all. Hey, so today we are talking about peace and calm in COVID times. This is just the perfect example of it. Like I'm a little irritated right now. I'm a little agitated right now because uh, I followed all the instructions. There was one little thing that I am not, it's not going live. What can I do? <laughs> what can I do? Our hey. Yeah, something went wrong, or I don't know. So anyway, um, here we are, peace and calm in COVID times. This is the uh, Georgia. This is the everyone who's here. Drop a comment. Let me know you're here, where you're from, what you're drinking, what time of day it is. I want to know. I want to know. Hang on. I just came off a super fast walk. I actually was running because my alarm went off. I'm like, oh God, I've got to get back there. So it's all about you. Yay, Georgia. It's all about you being more of you. That's what all of these videos, podcasts, live streams are all about. Vicki, yes. That's what all of these live streams, podcasts, videos are about is you being more of you. You being set free to be more of you because it's you the world wants, not a uh, copy of somebody else. And how do we get there if we don't believe in ourselves? And I'm all about showing you how to get there. So every single podcast, every single video, every single live stream is all toward that end of you being more of you and me showing you the hacks that I have learned over the uh, 35 plus years that I've been studying this stuff and digging myself out of low self-esteem, zero confidence, lifelong depression, blah, 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 over, 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 over. I've learned so many things about how to stop it and to stop believing in it. As you jump on, please say hi, drop it in the comments. Tell me where you are in the world, what you're drinking, what you're doing, what time of day it is. And yes, let's just take a deep breath. Ooh, deep breath. Yes, yes, yes. And be so thankful for every air molecule going into your lungs. Do you know that your air sacs in your lungs replace themselves every seven days? I think that's what I learned from Dawson Church. I'm going to study up on this a little bit more and tell you more. Body Talk Friday. This is when we absolutely love the body that we're in and appreciate it. Because if we don't start from this place of appreciating our body, it just goes down and 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 down. It's not a pretty thing. We do not, we want to love our body. That doesn't mean keep it the way it is. That means you're always improving it. You're losing the, not losing the weight. You're releasing the weight. You're toning the body. You're stretching. You're healing the, the ailments. You're getting better and better and better all the time. But you have to start from a place of self-love. For more of this, go to 3keys2selflove.com, the number three, hey Sam, the number three, I'm sorry, yeah, three keys like you put in your car, to selflove.com. I keep wanting to go this, you can, you can get there by doing the number two too. 3keys2selflove.com, that'll get us more closely related. You'll get these live streams in your inbox three times a week so you can grab them real quick for your instant relief out of Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I feel this coming on me again, right? That thing that happens with the anxiety, we get afraid of the emotion. I used to be emotophobic, emotophobic. Like after coming out of a lifelong of feeling so bad about myself and so bad about my life, I would have traded my life for almost anybody. I was afraid to feel funky feelings. <laughs> now I'm like, I'm good because I know how to get out of it. I know how to change the way I feel. And as you stay close, I will keep showing you more and more and more and more hacks. The Anxiety Hacks Workshop, I have a few spaces left for a few more people 
who are the first to join the Anxiety Hacks workshop who get a consultation with me, go to lorainepurcell.com forward slash anxiety hacks. It's up in the description and it's a three hour workshop. You don't have to attend live if, you're, if you can't, if the scheduling doesn't work, you get to own access to the video and you will have this. We will go into your particular brand of anxiety and I'll show you exactly how to get tools for you. Your own particular toolkit, not mine, not somebody else's, but yours. You will be creating your own toolkit. And because you will be creating it, it's going to be more powerful. You'll see how powerful you are over anxiety, guilt, depression, shame, fear, doubt. Blech. Yay! <laughs> fear, shame, depression, doubt. Yay! Out! Out, out, out. I deserve a better life. How about you? I deserve to feel great about me. I say yes to me. Put your hands on your heart right now and say, I say yes to me. I say yes to me. I say yes to D, to me, to D. <laughs> I say yes to me. Hi, Giselle. I say yes to me. So how do we keep our energy high and clear in COVID times? Number one, keep your ass out of the media. I scroll nothing. As soon as something comes up on my feed when I'm going to only social media for business reasons to talk to you, if something pops up, I purposely have blocked it out. I will not even look. I stopped using one of my email accounts because it just insisted on throwing this news up. I don't want to know. I do not want to know the bullshit that everybody else is focusing on and nailing their own foot to the ground. No, 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 no. My job is to feel good and walk into the grocery store like I did today and I just lit everybody up that went in my path. I changed the destiny of about five people this morning in a 10 minute grocery visit. That is what we're here to do, to, to illuminate our light so big that we share with people hope. There's so much to be hopeful for. There's so much to live for. Get out of your doldrums. Change the way you feel. Get up and move. Your body wants to move. Your body does not want to sit around. And you know, when you're depressed, how do you feel? How would you like to get on a, a live where I'm sitting here like this? Hi, everybody. <sighs> Would that inspire you? <laughs> yes, Sam, and that's contributed to your well-being. That's contributed to all the good that has come your way. Yes, 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 yes. No, I get myself up. I go for a walk. I start doing things that will make me feel good. I, I spend time with spirit. I spend time meditating. I spend time studying. I spend time remembering who I am. And this is the whole thing, remembering who we are. Remembering who we are. Remembering who we are. You're wasting your life if you're sitting around depressed and sad. I did it my whole life because I believed what my mind was saying. Don't believe what your mind is saying. Sorry if this fan is giving you hallucinations. <laughs> I'm just still really hot from my walk. Don't believe your mind. Don't believe your thoughts. It's bullshit. It's there to keep you small. It's there to keep you safe so nobody will criticize. Well, you guess what? They're going to criticize you anyway. Guess what? People are going to leave you anyway. Guess what? People you love are going to say bad things about you and are not going to understand you. And you know what? It's not even your job to defend yourself or say anything to vindicate the situation. No, don't even go there. It hurts, but don't let it make you be small. You're here to live a great big life. Can I just remind you of that? You're here to live a great big life. <laughs> Who's resonating with this message today? We do not want to get, get down into other people's misery. We need to keep our energy high and clear so we can actually offer a hand to those who are down and who are ready to hear the truth. Where's the camera? Ready to hear the truth. Deep breath. Send a grounding cord down to Mother Earth and get your message for her. She's just saying, preach it, sister. 
So drop your comments in what Mother Earth is saying to you. M-E are her initials. Preach it is what she's saying. So you stay strong in COVID times by staying out of the bullshit. It's other people's reality. Whatever you focus on expands. We know about this for Fairy Godmother Monday and studying the quantum field together. What you focus on expands. If you focus on all the social injustice, if you focus on all the problems in the world, you just get more of the problems in the world. And that vibration that you're putting out, you get more of that in your life. But if you look at all the beauty, if you look at all the kindness, if you look at all the good deeds, I don't know anybody who's doing social injustice. I don't have anybody like that around me. I don't know that existence because that is not how I operate. So I am true to me and I shine my light and more good comes back to me. This is how it works. What we focus on expands. What we focus on expands. What we focus on expands. If you've got a notebook, you might want to write that down. What you focus on expands. So what do you have going on in your life right now that shows you what you've been focusing on vibrationally? So vibrationally, whatever you've been focusing on, you're getting more stuff like that vibrationally because we are only energy beings. So now come up to the bottoms of your feet. We're going to do a counterclockwise spin of white light effervescing energy all the way up. You're gonna go through your 50 plus trillion cells. And we're gonna clean them with this white light effervescing energy, like the, the when you crack a bottle on a Perrier or something like that, it goes, it's like that. It's gonna be going up through every one of your cells and cleaning every single cell in your body. And as we're going up, you're gonna to be touching parts that, yeah, Sam says, oh yes. Um, we're gonna to be touching parts that hurt and we're going to be consulting them. What are you trying to share with me? What are you trying to tell me? Because when your body is hurting, it's really got a message for you. What is it? What is it that you didn't listen to before? doesn't mean you were wrong. doesn't mean you were bad. It means always that you were doing your best. Now it's time to take some accountability and go, okay, now what are you trying to communicate to me, body? I have done a whole diet makeover. I have done a whole entire diet makeover. Sam, what about when spiritual teachers say you have to ask your buddy, body what's wrong? Well, that's kind of the same thing, but it's looking at it from the negative, right? What's wrong? I don't ever look at what's wrong. I, I try to look at what are you trying to say to me? Body, you're, try, you're really trying hard to give me a message here. Sorry I haven't been listening and paying attention. Yeah, and then if you're, if you're in this compassionate, loving um, partnership with your body, you're going to hear it. Like, you know how fast I get Mother Earth and my throat and my heart's message and my third eye's message? Because I practiced. So we practice listening, and then we get the answers so much easier. And if you're, it's not what's wrong, because then you're focusing on what's wrong, right? And you get more of what's wrong. So what are you trying to tell me, body? What am I not, what am I not seeing? Does that make sense, Sam? Thanks for the question. Anybody have any questions, throw it in. Today is Body Talk Friday. If you want me to read for you, if you have an ailment and you want me to, to like do a reading and see what, see what I can get for you, let me know. Drop it in the comments. And stay away from people who are complaining and talking about the news and talking about all the shit going on. No, they're not on your not on the vibration that you want to be on. Say kindly, I gotta run, I gotta go. As soon as they start complaining or gossiping or saying bad things that you can feel your energy start to tank, it's time for you to go. Oh, I have to run. Talk to you later. Um, people may stop may start disappearing from your life when you. Start raising your vibration. They won't feel comfortable with you not, you know, misery loves company. They won't feel comfortable with that anymore. And so 
you've got to be ready for a big shift, but it's your one and only life as far as we know. At least it's the one we're in now. I want to make sure I'm making the most of this one. So the way we keep ourselves in peace and calm in COVID times is we remember who we are. We remember that we are infinite beings. As you jump on, please say hi so I know you're here, where you are in the world, what you're drinking, what you're doing, what time it is. And um, you, you remember who you are as an infinite being. You know, I got a revelation the other day, I shared it with one of my private groups, that this is heaven. This is heaven. This is heaven. According to what you focus on, it can be your heaven or it can be your hell. It's my heaven. It is my heaven. So as I just focus on the good and I just keep going more good, more good, more good, more good, more good. It just keeps getting better and better and better. And yes, it is a, a playground and a school ground. And there are things that I'm learning here. And everything is perfect and everything is working out for me. And I just keep focusing on that, focusing on that, focusing on that. And more and more and more and more good keeps happening. This is heaven. What are you focusing on? What am I focusing on? What are we cultivating in our daily life? As soon as I feel, start to feel a downward spiral, I run to my voice memos. Like I'm inviting you to run to your inbox and search my videos and just play them in the background. I even play my videos in the background, not from a, an egotistical standpoint, but there's nothing but light codes in this stuff. Can you feel it? There's nothing but light codes in this, these live streams. So you can just play it in the background very subtly and they're just gonna lift you up. They're just gonna change the atmosphere. They're gonna like scrub the atmosphere that you're in. They're gonna like, be like these little effervescing white light bubbles, just cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. So where is the owie in your body? Put your hand on it right now and ask it, what are you trying to say to me? Oh, my body is so happy with the way I'm treating it. And my body is getting so strong from my workouts with my trainer. Oh my God, it's just crazy. And I'm drinking a quart of celery juice every day now on an empty stomach. I'm drinking, not because I'm making myself. I mean, I'm only drinking when I'm thirsty, but I drink three to four quarts of filtered water with a whole lemon squeezed in each one. And it's just cleaning my body out. My digestion is just so beautiful. And um, doing other things too. So ask your body, what do you want me to eat more of? What do you want me to eat less of? What do you want me to drink more of? What do you want me to drink less of? And drop it in the comments if you want, because that'll help solidify it. I am just so, 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 I was, when I was on my walk this morning, it's like, I am so excited to be me. <laughs> I am so excited to be me. Or before, I used to want to trade my life with almost anybody. I'm so excited to be me now. But guess what? It was not the sit on the couch and slouch road. It was, we only feel good about ourselves when we are in there um, applying ourselves toward our fulfillment, toward our purpose. Only progress brings fulfillment. Write that down. Only progress brings fulfillment. Only progress brings fulfillment. I love that. I absolutely love that. Only progress brings fulfillment. If you're not progressing, you're staying stuck and you're going backwards. So what is it that you want to progress into? This is the antithesis to what most people are doing with COVID. You just go, oh, it's so bad, it's so wrong, it's so blah, blah, blah. It's like, talk to you later, bye, sending you love. <laughs> I'm getting out of this, this Petri dish. <laughs> I'm going over here, okay? Karen, only progress brings fulfillment. Yes, 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 Karen, yes. Only progress brings fulfillment. If you think you're gonna feel fulfilled, if you think you're gonna feel better by sitting around and feeling sad and worrying, I did a big one on that on Wednesday about worry. It was like blessing the babies in COVID. And worry 
will guarantee that things are going to happen that you don't want. So you've got to start finding some way to get yourself out. And the way I do it, I start, start looking at the trees. And then all of a sudden, like right now, I just looked out the window. I'm looking at the pine tree. And I'm just feeling the love coming from it. Okay? I kind of turn it on and off because it's a little distracting sometimes. But I've got it now. i got that in my body. i got that in my system that everything is love. There's love coming to me from my cement counter. There's love coming to me from this wall. There's love coming to me up from the floor. All there is is love. All you have to do is tap into it and believe it. But if you forget that you're an infinite being, if you forget that you've been here for a purpose, if you forget why you're here to spread light and love and be that person that can offer the hand to someone who's fallen off, as you jump on, please say hi in the comments so I know you're here. Georgia, only progress brings fulfillment. Yes, 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 yes. You. <laughs> yes. As we remember that we are infinite beings and that anything in the quantum field is possible because all possibilities exist and every fraction of a second is just which one do you choose to focus on? And then you have to start a momentum and then there you go. Up, 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 up done this a hundred million times you guys I know I've paved the way for you <laughs> me and a lot of other mentors so if this is helpful to you please tag people please share this to your groups to people that you know you know every Monday Wednesday Friday I'm gonna come on here and I'm gonna be like a fire hose of positivity because this is my life and this is the contribution that I want to make is uplift you so that you can feel good about yourself and go out and uplift others and be more of you. It's going to be the name of our new podcast that's going to be starting really soon. More of you. I'm so excited because everything I do is about helping you and supporting you be more of you, shining your life, shining your light, shining your life releasing the weight, getting into the best shape of your life, believing in yourself, believing in your purpose, and aligning with the ideal that you came here to be and not leaving anything on the table when you, when you go out. There's nothing left on the table when you leave. You did everything that was in your power to do that was for your fulfillment, that was for your upliftment, that was for your progress. That was for you just experiencing the amazingness about life. So everyone put your hands on your heart and see what your heart's message is to you today. Oh, my heart's saying expand. Drop it in the comments. Heart. Expand. Yes. And wherever you are now, there is no condemnation. There is no guilt. There is no shame. There is no doubt. There is no fear. That is just, you can say, thank you. I see you and I'm going this direction. Do this with me right now. Go to the side where that stuff is. Just kind of take it off of you like a, like a suit of armor. Put it over here and say, thank you. I see you. I'm going over here. Sending you love. Thank you for keeping me small. And... I'm going over here. I'm gonna live my great big life. I'm gonna live each day to the, my, to the fullest. My dad gave me a little book when I was like in my 20s for my birthday, it said live each day to the fullest. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. I wanna know that when I hit the pillow at night, I did everything I could do. Yes, Karen, peace. That's when we know peace. That is when we know peace. You know why? Yes, because it's, it's a vibrational thing. Do you know how when you get a shimmy in your car and the wheels are shimmying, you know that? The only way you can get out of it is by going a certain speed that aligns with that wobble. That's what we're doing. We are aligning with the wobble. We're finding our, our speed. We're finding our zone. <coughs> we're staying in our zone. We're staying in our zone and humming along in peace and calm. It's a frictionless place. 
Can you feel it? I know you've been there. It's a frictionless place. When you have been in the zone, when you just feel in the zone, that's progress. And you can go back there in an instant as long as you don't drag the shit bag with you. Oh my God, but I did this. Oh my God, but I did that. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Leave it. <laughs> like a dog, they treat him. Leave it. I'm telling you, leave it. I'm not saying you're a dog, but leave it. Leave the guilt, leave the shame, and go forward. Just go forward and say yes to yourself. Put your hands on your heart right now and say, I say yes to me. I say yes to me. I say yes to me. Put your hand on your throat. What does your throat chakra want you to communicate today? It's always saying be bold. <laughs> so if this is of service to you, please share, please tag throat. What does it say? Be bold. Please help us spread the word. We are trying to get this message out in a big way. Yes, Karen, I say yes to me. Yes, yes, yes. We're trying to get this message out in a big way because don't you think the world needs this message, especially now? I mean, listen, as soon as you go into sadness, guilt, shame, fear, doubt, your immune system tanks and you're more likely to get the COVID bullshit. I call it bullshit because... We bring it on ourselves. I'm sorry, but we do. From the very beginning, I started taking super good care of myself. Really big hack for the immune system is reishi mushrooms. I got reishi mushroom powder and it's really cheap. And I put heap of it in every day in my smoothie. And it's, it's this thing so that the COVID virus cannot even dock anywhere. On, it like disguises your cells so that the, the COVID thing can't dock on your cells and go in there and infiltrate and start producing, okay? So when we are in sadness and despair, we are opening wide going, here, COVID, come get me. Here, COVID, 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 COVID. Here, COVID, 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 COVID. Come, come, I want you, come on. Get out of that funk. Get up. Move around. Listen to some good music. I see Giselle doing these incredible videos all the time on TikTok that she shares where she's just up and she's dancing. And I'm like, every time I'm like, oh my God, you just make me smile, girlfriend. You know, get up and move. Your body wants to move. Your body needs to move. How does your body need to, need to move? As you jump on, please say hello and drop it in the comments so I know you're here. Karen, I stayed stuck and sick for far too long. Yes, 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 yes. You know exactly what I'm talking about, sister. It's like, we got to get ourselves out of this. We got to get ourselves out of this because people will start looking to us. We are an example. We are leaders. When we are happy, people are like, whoa, <laughs> I changed the way this guy's day is going to be all day today. He's going to remember this. And when I left the parking lot, he, I honked my horn and he honked his horn back at me. It was like, yes, <laughs> yes. I uplift everywhere I go. Everything I say is upliftment. And now I've moved it to everything I think is upliftment. That means if my mind starts saying bullshit about somebody, I start unscrewing that thing. I go, oh no, that's not where we're going. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not even going to entertain that thought. So I've taken it to a deeper level, which enforces more of my peace and calm because I'm more in my purpose. And your purpose is to live your great big life, whatever your passion is, whatever your desire is, whatever that thing is that you dream of. I think I honk at strangers all the time too. Yes, yes. In a friendly way. I know you mean that. So darlings, this is your one and only life that you are living now. This is your one and only life that you are living now. You get in peace and calm in COVID times. After COVID, it's going to be something else. It's going to be constant. It's just, what are you focusing on? This is heaven. This is heaven. This is heaven right here, right now. All according to what you're choosing. I'm going to say that different. All according to what you're focusing on. 
So don't watch the media. Don't listen to negative friends. Get away from them. Send them love. Send them love. They need so much love. But you are spreading light and love everywhere. So for more of my work, go to 3keys2selflove.com. The number three, keys like you put in your car, to selflovecom Powerful, powerful ebook that has served thousands and thousands of people around the world with just these amazing three keys that I continue to use all the time. We make our own heaven or hell on earth. Yeah, because this is it. It's not a place we go to. It's here, now. This is it. <laughs> this is it. What kind of bed are you making? Make the one you want to live in and lay in. So I love you. I love you. Sign up for Anxiety Hacks. We're going to be going into social anxiety with family and friends. I might be doing a, um, a webinar on it pretty soon and uh, just kind of give you guys a little intro to it. But sign up for that if you have any kind of anxiety with family and friends. Right now, it's on Early Bird. It's more than 50% off. It's only 40 bucks for a three-hour video workshop. And you get to keep the video access. Thank you, Karen. I love you too, darling. And for the first few, I've got a few more spots left. Get a coaching session with me, which is worth a lot of money. <laughs> it's worth a lot of money. Way surpasses like maybe uh, five times what the price of the, of the workshop is. So I have a couple spots left for the coaching session. If you sign up the first few, I have a couple left. People who sign up for the, the workshop, get the coaching session with me. And I'm just loving you. Body Talk Friday. Let's just feel in. What does your body want from you this weekend? Definitely, what does it want you to eat more of? What does it want you to drink more of? And what does it want you to eliminate from your body that is not serving you? Who does it want you to eliminate from your body that, you're, that is not serving you? Who do they want? Who does your body want you to get away from? What does your body want you to get away from? Pay attention. Honor your body. It is your biggest radar. <laughs> okay? I love you. I love you. Join me Monday for Fairy Godmother Monday. Tag and share this with anybody you know who needs this message. And Monday I'll be back here 8 a.m. Eastern for Fairy Godmother Monday to show you how to make your own dreams come true in the quantum field of all possibility. I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern to uplift you and get your ass off the couch and get your chin off the counter and get you up and feeling great about yourself, okay? Love you, love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.